Welcome to another episode of Psycho Life. And in studio with me is the man himself behind Anatomic, Mr. Ati Kukumwar. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Steve. I feel welcome. Tell me, Ati, how did Anatomic start? Yo, Anatomic as a brand name started uh, a little bit before my family and our business actually entered into the textile industry. So yeah, in um, 1984, we, me and my dad woke up one morning and we started to ride bikes for fitness. Um, I think my dad stopped smoking and he wanted to get fit and he loved bicycles, I think from childhood onwards. And uh, got bicycles and we started to ride around in our neighborhood, which is in Northcliffe, which mm -hmm. is not flat and uh, did short little courses. And uh, then he had to buy cycling shorts. But by that time, he got involved in a, in a business which was a pantyhose business, <laughs> coming from mining, and he bought this old pantyhose factory. And uh, we started to make sport clothing, ballet clothing, dance clothing, flash dance era, and uh, aerobics era. And, uh, and we could work with the Lycras. And uh, because we could work with Lycras, we could make cycling clothing. And, and then he made his first cycling shorts, and from there on onwards, um, we established our very own brand, which was Cyclone Sportswear. And, um, and it grew from there, and um, yeah, at the end of the 90s, um, the Anatomic brand name became available on the market, and, and we invested and bought into the brand name. And from there on onwards, we, we made uh, quite, a, quite a substantial number of clothing in the country, for cycling. So let's take it to events. Uh, yeah. The Juma, upcoming Juma 2016 event, uh, not too far away from now. How did you guys get involved in that? Well, we are, we, first, we're a Joburg based company. we very close to what the Joburgers called the Spruit or the mm -hmm. green strip running through Joburg. And we've been enjoying riding our bikes in and around Joburg for quite a while. When this event came along, and it was like a real one-page proposal <laughs> from the company. I saw it and I said to my dad, we have to get involved. And, um, and I'm really in love with the city, born and bred here. And I thought this event is unique and this can be uh, Joburg's unique thing that people can watch and say, gee, one day I have to go and do this event. Moving forward, uh, any plans for an atomic? For us, it's, um, our, our focus would be, again, building the base of the sport throughout mm -hmm. all our communities, um, making sure that the sport is never perceived as just being super expensive. This is not Formula One racing. <laughs> um, um, there is always a most expensive bike, but there is no reason why... Uh, a bike of 3,000 Rand or 1,500 Rand can't give you pleasure. Um, it's, it's, it's all wrong selling the sport too expensive. So we want to make sure that the sport is accessible and, um, and affordable. And I think it's a competitive market out there. There's uh, big stores involved in our country. Mm -hmm. and, we can, and you can get a bicycle and a helmet. And like my dad's famous saying is a 10,000 Rand bicycle is infinitely less expensive than a double hot bypass. <laughs> so I guess you, um, it's important to stay healthy. And I think um, bicycles is a bit more dynamic than sitting in a gym. And, um, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a wonderful sport. 